Hello students, this is Professor Dr. Moina Akhtar Mughal. I'm a professor in Dr. M. Akazi Institute of Chemistry, University of St. Jamshuru. So I was telling you about different classification tests, series of different classification tests in which you have uh, up till now distinguished number of uh, uh, class uh, functional groups that are present in your, may be present or absent in your known or unknown organic compound. If you have been provided with a known compound, the case is different. If you have been provided an unknown compound, the results are totally different, right? So now I just told you about the, uh, how you are going to find out an alcoholic group. You feel the presence of an alcoholic group. There are particular tests that tells you about whether that comp com your uh, compound contains an alcohol or not, right? Now uh, there is another compound called phenol. Phenol, right? A benzene ring that has got an OH group. That is called a phenol, right? So there is a particular test, uh, two type of a test that are indicated in your uh, reaction schemes. And first is your ferric trichloride test, right? So uh, what you are going to do, you are going to take very small amount of your organic compound, uh, whatever unknown organic compound is given to you, uh, and you will add water into it. You know, water is has a neutral. Uh, pH it is neutral so uh, you will add five to six drops almost of ferric trichloride solution freshly prepared it has to be freshly prepared also and it is supposed to be neutral now you should know how to neutralize the solution right you have to check the pH I can give you the indication so you will have a blue red or a violet coloration simply and that indicates the presence of uh, phenol whereas there is another test called Lieberman's um, uh, test in which uh, if your phenol, uh, you can say, or all the phenols in which the para position is uh, free or you can say uh, is not wet is not uh, is free it's not fulfilled right so it can respond to this test this one Lieberman's test right it uh, simply it you will take a small amount that is 0.5 gram is sufficient enough um, and you will add two very small crystals of uh, sodium nitrite uh, in a very dry test tube test tube is supposed to be dry right you have to wash it and then you have to oven dry it for a while and then it, it is called dry test tube and then you will gently heat it for about a minute and then you will cool down the mixture and add four to five drops of concentrated sulfuric acid now D you will have a deep green or blue coloration right which appears upon dilution and it becomes red whereas on adding axis of dilute it's sodium hydroxide deep green or blue color appears and it simply confirms the presence of phenol now what are these color changes and why these colors are appearing and what happens when a sudden color changes into different what happens is, is there anything to do with the ph is there anything to do with the acidity protonation whatever whatsoever we, i will discuss it with in, with you in my next video okay so keep watching thank you very much